Hi Virgo, welcome, Vamagili Gila, you are welcome here in this place. Thank you for joining me on your Lainey's Tarot Tracks pool for the first five days in November, one to five November. Day is All Saints Day, when we remember all the dead saints. And then there is the 5th of November, which is Guy Fox. It's a great day. Remember, this is an adults entertainment channel. If anything resonates with you, I'm glad to hear it. If it doesn't, please don't use it. Or if it does, do use it. But this is the Seven of Clubs. Seriously, for telling you, you're going to get some money. Oh, you're going to get some money. It's a small amount of reward of money. Yes, Virgo. Getting something at less than cost price, baby. Definitely doing some errands, paying some financial errands. It's a huge and great card for good fortune. And remember, if you do have excess money, save it. Because when you save it, there is something called compound interest these days that actually works for you. Save, save, save for a rainy day. Virgo, what a start. What oh, one? You got the sun. I mean, are you going to get married? Oh. Okay. So you've had sleepless nights. Worry, 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 worry. But the nine of the swords is telling you to let go of your tears and your fears and your frustrations and concentrate on something else like the sun coming out after you turn from your troubled waters you decide to you decide to say fuck you worry I worry no longer six nine this night comes in of this this offer of love has come in to you do you understand that? It's offer of marriage. Someone's getting married. Happiness, Virgo. Happiness is a penis, I know. This is an adult entertainment channel, but it's not all about penises. It's also about happinesses. And so, this message is coming in. We need some more information. Oh! In the past, there was all this hard work, not getting away, and everybody killed you, stabbed you in the back, you've had enough of it, that's it, turn away to calm the waters, you're not, you're just walking away, drink the Beaujolais, walk away, that's, that's what I say, very good, you see, and you're walking away, and you're looking to the other waters, and you're looking to expand your horizons, and your kingdoms, you used to have temperance and everything that you do because the money always costs things to do. But somebody is coming in to tell you something. What? Tell you what? Well, not tell you. Some offer you. Offer you love. Offer you love. Marry. Is this you or the king of Virgo? The king of pentacles is you. Well, Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. Let's see if there's marriage on the hands. Last pull for the Lionel's tracks. For Virgo. Six, seven, no, there's no six. 
There's two sevens, two nines, nine nine, nine. <laughs> and a queen and a trace. So your creativity is very high, mate, with your tree of ices. <laughs> of hearts I tell you creativity is high you are very successful you might write a symphony or two create art go gardening it's great for business love affairs and happy travels wow and there's satisfaction and joy with a nine of hearts all pain and sorrow is reversed a sign of good fortune wealth and happiness worldly advantage a cheerful message on the way enjoy today and stop worrying about tomorrow but your other nine is a bad sad and mean card it's very unclear it doesn't have a very clear meaning it wants to know what's next to it so we're going to choose definitely that that nine of hearts is hearts and if it's next to heart, it means you've got some troubles in love. Love, my love, there's some troubles. You're going to have some troubles in your loves. But maybe you're having some nightmares too. The seven of hearts tells you to have dreams, sweet dreams. So it's giving you the, the thought now to counteract your nightmares. It's a good omen for business plans personal relationships, love ambitions, the courage to dream, have the courage to dream. If it's next to clubs, it means you might have some financial difficulties. But this seven tells you of a small amount of reward, getting something at less than cost price. A small financial errands, huge and good omen for huge wealth and compound interest. But watch out for this queen. You see all the sevens here, hey? Confirmation, confirmation on the sevens, seviones. And so this queen, watch out for this nasty and jealous person. She's just trusting and prejudiced, full of slander and gossip to the nth degree and will try anything to poison your relationships with others. Seth. Sun. More. For Virgo. On the first. To the fifth. Ooh, nearly. We were fighting. Okay, the magician to deceive, perceive, and conceive. And intentionalizing is the aim of the game. So you've got a dream. You are the wizard of Oz. You are the wizard, the good wizard, the good warlock, the good earth witch who knows everything. And fluent in every jargon of anything. So you can jump off that cliff and fly high with your friends and feel happy. Take that giant leap forward into the abyss, straight into jail. Don't pass begin. Oh, no, that's terrible. But that is in your mind, hey? You're in jail in your mind. Thank God, because look there. You've got the Ten of Cups. Get married. Do you get married? There's some juggling of money thingies, thingies, situation relationships. You're going to be juggling time, money. But in the end, you have the Ten of Cups. That is your reading, Virgo.
I hope you enjoyed your pool for the first five days of November 2023. I thank you for joining me. If you haven't yet, hit the little subscribe button. Remember life gets better if you try to be better. We get smarter when it gets tougher. And if you want it to be better, well, you just got to try a little harder. I thank you. I thank you for joining me in this space. Salam. Salam alek. Like as leaf for you. Ich liebe dich. Tot sins. Salani gachle. Hambani gachle. Sia bonga. Kiara bocha. Tschüss. Tot sins. Mwah.